Affinity does not need a studio. You don't need the Pixel Studio. You don't need the Vector Studio. You can turn all the studios off and you can still access all the features, PC or Mac. All you need to do, just go up here. There's three dots and you can see obviously the Affinity there. You've got a load of options here, some available or not, depending on how you set your machine up. Also, you've got all the tools here. They will vary depending on the studio that originally you had. But you don't need a studio. All you need to do is about to click here and you can then, any point, you can always access the pixel or vector if you want to bring them back, if you're doing a lot of vector work. If you're not doing any vector work, you don't really need to have it available. So you can just deselect that and just have the pixel. But likewise, you don't need anything. All the functionality is still available. All these menus are all available. Also, the tools are still available because you can go here. Here's the tools panel. Just go down the bottom here. You've got three dots, customize the tools. So just click here and you can see you get all the tools, any of them. So you've got pass brushes, you've got transparency tool, all these ones, some which are available via the vector by convention, some obviously the pixel. But it's purely a way of creating the grouping a set of different tools that you're probably going to use if you're doing photographic or pattern or brushwork, etc. Or if you're doing vector work or layouts. It's just a group. And you can put anything into any of the studios, or you can just work with no studios at all if you're not really concerned about it. What you can also do is you've got here view, you've got customized toolbar, so you can click here and again loads of options which you can then simply just drag here and build up your own set of tools like maybe you do a lot of sort of alignment or transformations put those there doing various distributions or maybe combining vector designs again just simply go here and you can just drag and just put them up here like that or add put that one there and so on and just done but again if you wanted to say have this one the vector flood tool in this, you just simply drag it over and you can see then it's added there or the data merge tool or the picture frame ellipse and close it. Again, it's not associated with any studio, but say you want to have a studio. Let's just bring it back. Let's just click here and pixel. Now, got pixel. With that, you see you got this. I can click here. Again, just click here, vector, bring that back and click there. And you can see it's just a set of different panels, different various tools here. If I click on pixel again, you can see, get that back. It does seem that the pixel one is the key one. Literally no studio seems to sort of relate back to pixel because you can see I've, the tools I've added there, even when I didn't have a studio, it seems to have thought, we well, you know what? It must be associated with the pixel one. And you can see it just says a bit of things like correcting things, enhancing images, etc. But it's just a place to store your most used tools. You may want to just set up your own studio and just use that or just not have a studio at all. Reason for this video, I had quite a few comments, people saying, oh, I want to access this or why can I use the assets or something in different applications? Of course in these different studios. Just go to Window, and just down here, you've got all the various things. So you, if you decide you want to use assets, or you want to use layers, or you want to use the layout features, maybe you want to use books. All these things, just bring this panel up, and then you can use it. That's the great thing about Finity, the latest version, Finity 3. You can use all these features. The studio is just a nice way of grouping certain things together. That's all it is. Hope you found this of interest. Any questions, thoughts, please let me know. Also, what are your thoughts about the studio? Do you think it's a real great way? Have you modified your studio? Have you changed it? Or have you been sort of thinking, oh, no, I, I have to keep going backwards and forwards between the different things? You definitely do not need to keep going back. If you use something, say, all the time in the pixel, but you just have to keep going to the vector for it, just put it into the pixel. doesn't need to be remain just in the vector you can simply just go down here and add the tool very quickly that way. Likewise, in the vector, maybe you use certain features a lot, 
that used to be in Pixel, put them into the vector as well. Perfectly reasonable. Don't use any rules or things saying, do you have to have it there or not? It does cause, cause slight problems during tutorials. So in tutorials, I always have to remember which ones are which by convention, but that's the only slight issue. For general use, put it where you find it most useful. That's the key thing. Bye.